Hi everyone and welcome back. Now let's talk about Jest. So this is our next topic and we are going to talk a lot about Jest as a testing framework for JavaScript. I mean Jest is just become popular with the React I will say but now you can do a testing for anything like you want to do test Angular, you want to do test uh, simple JavaScript, TypeScript, React, Node, Angular, Vue.js, everything can be tested using just as a testing framework. It provides a nice way to get the coverage and it is really faster and it's, you can say it's my favorite testing framework because it's really fast when it comes to uh, watching a file and running the test on the fly. Okay, uh, you can just get the coverage using coverage flag. It provides easy way of mocking the functions either when you are writing a unit tests. Okay, and there are uh, multiple ways. Let's directly uh, dive into the documentation like how to set up Jest. It's like any other NPM module, NPM install minus minus save. It's a dev dependency because we are talking about testing here. And you can write your functions and do a sum.test.js like this and we can just do the simple testing right and uh, you can just create a simple script like mocha similarly this is a test script which is invoking jest so you will just uh, get this running we, we can just uh, run this on a simple test we already have we have installed this dependency jest here so what we will do is uh, we just create npm install so we'll install all the dependencies which we need and then we can just say npm run test and you can see some configurations are attached in the package json just configuration right what it is saying collect coverage because that means we also want to collect the coverage and collect the coverage from what source in the source folder there are whatever is the the file with the dot js extension collect the coverage from those set of files okay now what other i mean it's like a very good documentation how to use it with a typescript project with the babel with a simple react with a simple javascript using webpack and all we will uh, talk about that uh, in the detail and here you can just talk about how to do the synchronous testing of asynchronous code how to do the testing of uh, simple synchronous code right and it talks about how to deal with the simple promises and we already know that we are going to use this async await because we are pretty much comfortable using this particular syntax whenever there is a asynchronous syntax even there is something callback based i convert that into the promises and convert this test into a promise one right uh, using async block we can do the simple testing and this we have seen while writing a simple assertion libraries and a testing framework also uh, in the starting of this playlist okay now what we are going to do is let's simply execute this npm run test and this is going to use jest to run the test cases for us and this is a jest and what all kind of test cases we have we can see we have simple source and this is a simple test case we have and it finds okay there is index.test.js it will execute all of these and it will also give us the coverage okay this is simple coverage statement okay everything is getting covered from the index.js everything is passed snapshot total time everything is cool right so this is what jest is providing jest is really popular framework testing framework which gives you which is like a test runner you have to write your tests synchronous test or asynchronous test like these are the synchronous tests to just uh, validating some mathematical functions addition subtraction and all but you can write as complex uh, as you want like you will be using just for react for angular for Vue.js, for component rendering and doing the assertions okay expect provide all different kind of assertions out of the box it is providing you the expect uh, assertion okay if you see you can see the expect everywhere you don't need to you worry about assertions using some third-party library like uh, chai or uh, should js or something like that okay and uh, setup so 
setup i mean we can also use all these kind of hooks before each after each these are like hooks we always use with a simple uh, mocha test same kind of uh, hooks we can also use here right if you want to do a one time setup this is simple before all after all like this is like a one time setup means you want to initialize it before all before running all if you want to execute something before each and every iteration you will use before each after each if you want to run something after all or before all you will use before all and after all similarly it's all about scoping that this before each is applies to all the test cases which are coming in this particular block right uh, and all these are the different hooks order of execution all different kind of nesting of describe it block is still valid it's not something which is gone let's see let's copy this particular syntax and create a simple file this is all about uh, scope we can create uh, one file scope.test.js and just paste our test cases here here what we are talking about is the, the nesting this is a describe block this is the describe block and this is describe block so anything which is declared outside is global to all the describe blocks and anything which is declared inside this describe block which that is inner to that describe block okay i mean this is a simple scoping mechanism based on uh, where the things has been declared okay now i mean it, it provides all different kind of assertions testing synchronous code and it also provides the mock functions that is really powerful i you don't have to worry about writing uh, the mock function of your own right like mock callback you can just do a just dot function that's it so if when you are writing it when you are executing a test cases and when you want to execute mock callback the, the execution will go to this mock function okay and then you can just check okay this mock function has been called how many times it has been called what is the result and all these things the mock property right so we are going to see all these things in the in the examples which we are going to write the really important thing is how easily we can mock the function using jest and when you when we are writing a code let's say this is the exeos right and we have to mock this exeos module how we do it uh, I think it is providing us the mock implementation. You can see the mock function, just dot function, even the callbacks, it is able to manage. Okay, that we will, that we can see when we uh, actually write the test case where we are mocking the actual API call, either using knock library or any third party functions which we can't test. So, what we do is we always mock those kind of functions. Okay, and this just can be used for any kind of framework so that is the beauty so we have mocha okay i don't want to use mocha then jest is really a nice option for you which is giving you everything you don't need to include istanbul nyc it is giving you coverage you are we are using only a single testing framework and it is giving you everything that's what that's what we need okay uh, okay that's it uh, thanks everyone let's see this jest framework uh, in the depth